Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a shopping cart in Node.js. Shopping carts are an essential part of any e-commerce website. They allow customers to add items to their cart and user can also remove item from shopping cart also. In this tutorial, we are going to build a simple shopping cart using Node.js and Express. We will be using sessions to store the cart data so that it persists between page refreshes. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is testing database. And here we have one product table in which we have already inserted some product data. So we will fetch product data from this table and display on web page with add to cart button. Now here in command prompt, we have navigate to directory in which we will create shopping cart application. After this, we have run this command which will create shopping cart directory. And after this, we have goes into this directory and first we want to install the necessary dependencies. So for this, we have run this command which will download node dependencies like Node Express Framework, MySQL Module, Body Parser Module, AJS Template and Express Session Module. Now we have goes to Code Editor and here first we have to create Server.js file. After this, we have create one public directory in which we will store product image. And next, we have create views directory, and under this, we will create view file. So here, we have create product.ajs template file. Now first we have goes to server js file, and under this file, we have to write express variable is equal to request method with express framework so it will import express framework under this file after this we want to import my sql module so here we have to write my sql variable is equal to require method with my sql module next we want to import body parser module so here we have to write body parser variable is equal to require method with body parser module name after this we want to import express session module for store card data in session variable so here we have to write session variable is equal to require method with express session module name now we want to initialize instance of express framework so here we have to write app variable is equal to express method which will initialize new instance of express framework next we want to set up body parser middleware in express application so here we have to write app dot use function and under this function we have to write body parser dot url encoded method so this method of body parser middleware to pass the URL encoded data submitted in the HTTP POST request. Under this method, we have to write extended key with false value. So it said the value can be only string or array and not any other data type. After this, we want to create another body parser middleware for pass JSON data in Express application. So here, we have to write app.use method, and under this method, we have to write bodyparser.json method. So by using this method, it will access JSON data in the request body. After this, we want to create middleware for serving static file. So here we have to write. So here, we have to write app.use method, and under this method, we have to write express variable dot static method and under this we have to write public directory name so from this directory we will fetch product image and display on the web page next we want to set up ajs template engine so for this here we have to write 
app.set method with two argument so here in first argument we have to write view engine and in second argument we have to write ajs so it will set up ajs template engine after this we want to make my sql database connection so here we have to write connect variable is equal to my sql variable dot create connection method Under this method, in first key, we have to write host, and in value, we have to write local host. In second key, we have to write database and in value, we have to write testing. In third key, we have to write user and in value, we have to write root. And in last key, we have to write password and in value, we have to write blank value. So after define this database configuration, it will try to make my SQL database connection. Now we want to check my SQL database connection. So here we have to write connection variable dot connect method with callback function with error as argument. Under this function, we have to write console.log method with message like My SQL database is connected successfully, so this message will be displayed. Next, we want to set up session middleware in Express application, this is because Sessions are a way to store user data across multiple HTTP requests, so here we have to write App.use method, and under this method, we have to write session method. Under this method, we have to define session configuration details. So in first key, we have to write secret, and in value, we have to write key, which will be used for sign the session ID. In second key, we have to write resave, and in value, we have to write false. So this option determines whether to save the session to store on every request, but here. We have to write false, so it will save the session, when it has been modified. In third key, we have to write, save uninitialized, and in value, we have to write true. So this option determines, whether to save session, that is new, but has not been modified. But here we have write true, so it will cause session to be saved, even if it has not been modified. In last key, we have to write cookie, and in value, we have to write secure key with false value. This option specifies the option for the session cookie. So this code will create session middleware. Now we want to create root for load product data on web page with add to cart button. So here we have to write app.get method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write slash and in second argument, we have to write callback function with request and response variable as argument under this callback function we have to write query variable is equal to select star from product with limit 3 data so this query will fetch first three product from product table and now we want to execute this query. So here we have to write connection.query method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write query variable and in second argument, we have to write callback function with error and result variable as argument. Now under this function, we have to write if statement and under condition. We have to write request.session.cart variable, so this condition will check. If this session variable is not exists, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write request.session.cart variable is equal to blank array. So this cart session variable is not exists, then it will create this session cart variable with blank array. After this, we have to write response.render method with two argument.
In first argument, we have to write views file name product and in second argument, we have to write products key and in value, we have to write result. And cart key and in value, we have to write request.session.cart variable. So here, we have sent product data and cart data to this product view file. Now we have goes to product view file and under this file, first we have paste this HTML code. After this, first we want to display product data on web page. So here we have to write open and close node expression and between this, we have to write products dot for each method and under this we have to write product as argument now first we want to display product image so here we have to write image tag with source attribute is equal to slash images slash open and close node expression And between this, we have to write product dot product image, which will display product image from public directory images folder. After this, we want to display product name. So here we have to write open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write product dot product name, which will display product name on the web page. After this, we want to display product price details. So here we have to write open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write product dot product price, which will display product price on the web page. Now we want to create add to cart form. So here we have to write form element. With method is equal to post and action attribute is equal to slash add cart. So when form has been submitted, then it will send HTTP request to this add cart routes. Now under this form, we want to store product ID under hidden element. So here we have to write input type is equal to hidden with name is equal to product ID and in value attribute, we have to write open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write product dot product ID variable. After this, we want to store product name details in hidden field. So here we have to write input type is equal to hidden with name is equal to product name and value is equal to open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write product dot product name variable which will store product name details in hidden variable. After this, we have to write input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to product price. After this, value attribute is equal to open and close node expression and between this, we have to write product dot product price variable. So here we have store product price details under hidden element. Now for create add to cart button, so here we have to write input type is equal to submit. Class is equal to button and button warning and value is equal to add to cart. So by click on this button, we can add item into shopping cart. Now we have goes to server file and here we have to write app.listen method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write 3000 port number and in second argument, we have to write callback function. Under this function, we have to write console.log method and under this method, we have to write message like server has started on port number 3000, so it will start node application. Now for check output in the browser, here in command prompt, we have run this command which will start node server. Now here in the browser, we have type localhost, double colon 3000, so here we can see that product has been display on web page with product name and product price details. And with each product, we can see add to cart button, so by click on the button, product will be added into cart.
So first before writing, add to cart code, so first we have to display, blank cart data on web page. So here in product template file, we have create one HTML table, with first table column like, item name, quantity, unit price, total price and remove table column. Now here we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, card.length value is, greater than 0. If this condition false, then it will execute, else block of code, and under this block. We have to write, this HTML code, which will display, message like, no item found in cart. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block. We have to define, one total variable, with zero value, and under this variable, we will store, total cart value. Now for fetch data from cart variable, so here we have to write, cart dot for each method, with item variable as argument. And between this, we have create, one table row, with five table data tag. In first column, we want to display, product name details. So here, we have to write, open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write, item dot product name variable, which will print, card product name details. In second table column, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this, we have to write, item dot quantity, which will display, product quantity details, under this shopping cart. In third key, we have to write, open and close node expression, and between this, we have to write, Item dot product price, table column name, which will display, product unit price details, under this cart. In fourth column, we want to display, product total price, so here we have to write, open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write, pass float, item dot quantity, into pass float function. With item dot product price table column, which will calculate product total price and display under shopping cart. And in last column, we will make remove button, but we will create remove button at the time of remove item from cart. Now we want to calculate shopping cart total amount. So here we have to write total variable is equal to total variable plus pass float function with item dot quantity. Into pass float function with item dot product price, so this code will calculate total value of shopping cart. Now for display total amount of shopping cart, so here we have write this HTML code. And here, we want to display, total amount, so here we have to write, open and close node expression. And between this, we have to write, total variable, which will display, total amount of shopping cart. So this code will display, shopping cart details, on the web page. Now here in the browser, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that, shopping cart has been display, with no item, in shopping cart message. So when, we have add item, into shopping cart, then this cart will be filled with item. Now for add item into cart, we have goes to server file, and here, we have to create, root for add item into cart. So here we have to write, app.post method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, slash add cart, and in second argument, we have to write callback function with request and response variable as argument and now under this function.
we want to store product data under local variable so here we have to write product id variable is equal to request dot body dot product id variable after this we have to write product name variable is equal to request dot body dot product name so here we have store product name details under this local variable after this we have to write product price variable is equal to request dot body dot product price so here we have store product price details under this local variable now we want to store this data in session cart variable so for this first here we have to write count variable is equal to 0 so this variable value which we will use for check item already added into cart or not so for this here we have to write i variable is equal to 0 i variable value is less than the value of request dot session dot card dot length value and i variable value increment by 1 so on every loop it will fetch data from cart session variable under this loop we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write request dot session dot cart with i variable dot product id value is equal to product id variable value if this condition true that means product already added into cart so on this condition we want to increment only product quantity by 1. So for this, here we have to write request.session.cart with i variable dot quantity value increment by 1. So if item already exists in cart, then at that time, that item quantity will be increment by 1. And below this, we have increment count variable value by 1. Now here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write count variable value is equal to zero if this condition true that means item is not added into cart so in this condition we have to add item into shopping cart so for this here we have to write cart data variable is equal to an object so in first key we have to write product id and in value we have to write product id variable in second key we have to write product name and in value we have to write product name variable in third key we have to write product price and in value we have to write pass float function with product price variable and in last key we have to write quantity and in value we have to write one so here we have store single item data under this card data variable now for add into session cart variable so here we have to write request dot session dot cart variable and after this we have to write push function and under this we have to write card data variable so it will add data into session cart variable so after add data into shopping cart we want to redirect web page to main root of this application so here we have to write response dot redirect method and under this we have to write slash so it will redirect web page to this root and here we can see that item will be added into shopping cart now here we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page we can see product page and shopping cart display on the web page now we want to add this item into cart so we have click on add to cart button so after click on add to cart button here we can see that item has been added into cart which we can see in here and here we can see which item has been added into cart with total price and now we want to add another product so we have click on this product add to cart button so after click on the add to cart button here we can see that second item has been added into shopping cart which we can see in here now we want to add one more quantity of this product so we have again click on this product add to cart button so after click on the add to cart button so here we can see that this product quantity has been increased by one 
So this way, we can add item into shopping cart. Now we have show you how to remove item from shopping cart. So here in JavaScript code part, we have create remove item function with item ID as argument. Under this function, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write confirm function with message like are you sure you want to remove it? So if we have click on remove button, then this message will be pop up with OK and cancel button. So if we have click on OK button, then it will execute if block of code and under this block, we have to write window.location.href is equal to slash remove item root question mark 1d variable is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket and between this we have to write item id variable so it will send get request to this root for remove item from shopping cart now here for create remove button so here we have to write button type is equal to button with class is equal to button button danger and button small class After this, we have to write on click event is equal to remove item function. And under argument, we have to write open and close node expression and between this. We have to write item dot product id variable and in button text, we have to write remove. So it will make remove button which will remove item from shopping cart. Now we have goes to server file. And here we have to write app.get function with two argument. In first argument, we have to write slash remove item and in second argument. We have to write request and response variable as argument. So this root will receive request for remove item from cart. Under this function, we have to write product id variable is equal to request.query.id variable. So here, we have store product id value under this local variable and now for remove item from cart. Here we have to write for loop and under condition, we have to write i variable value is equal to zero. i variable value is less than the value of request.session.cart.length value. And i variable value is increment by 1, so on every loop, it will check all card data. Now under this loop, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Request.session.cart, with i variable dot product id value is equal to, product id variable. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, for remove item from, shopping cart. So here, we have to write request.session.card.splice function with two argument. In first argument, we have to write i variable and in second argument, we have to write 1. So this code will remove item from shopping cart and it will display remaining item in shopping cart. Now redirect web page to product list page. So here we have to write response dot redirect method with slash. So it will redirect web page to product list page on which it will display shopping cart with remaining item. So here our code is ready for remove item from shopping cart. And now we have goes to browser for check output. Friends, first we have refresh web page. So after refresh of web page, here we can see product list. And here, we can see that, list of item which, we have added, into shopping cart, with remove button. Now we want to remove, this item from shopping cart, so we have simply click, on this remove button. So after click on remove button, here we can see that, it has asked for confirmation, before remove item from cart. So we have click on ok button, so after click on ok button, here we can see that item has been removed from cart. And in shopping cart, we can see remaining item. And here we can see total of remaining item, which we can see here. So this way, we can make simple shopping cart in Node.js with feature like add item into shopping cart. 
and remove item from shopping cart so lastly thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials for more node js and my sql tips and tricks